できた新作スイーツだーこれはあの名店で売られていると噂の隠し Oh shit you guys could have Oh no wait Ah I'm so sorry <laughs> Oh gosh you guys heard the, the audio Oh dear I didn't realize that Alright I guess we can start yeah Hi guys! Welcome, welcome to my stream! <laughs> Today... Okay, they're talking. Okay, let's give them a moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're so cute. Alright, so hello everybody! Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? I'm a, I'm a Yumu. I'm a convenience convenience store employee VTuber, and today we're gonna play a new Carnival Forest Carnival. It just dropped today. Yeah, baby. Hello, Kiki. Hello, Ravelson. Hi, love you. Hi, Abel. Hi, Kiki. I mean, I said that already. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I can't I can't pronounce your name. It's in Chinese. But hello, you background. Tell us what happened to your wallet. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I um I spent a lot of money. I I spent a lot of money. Do you guys wanna see how much <laughs> Oh man, do you guys wanna know how much <laughs> 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 it's so bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I I gotcha it at work today. Today this has been a has been a very long time since I gotcha and then like not, um, you know, not get Edmund within or or the card that I want within 50, 50 rolls, right? I, I think I hit over 200 at least. <laughs> but yeah, I, I got him and I got Kuya too. Kuya actually came twice. Uh, the event Kuya and... Um, oh my god. The event Kuya and the, the normal SSR Kuya came. So I'm like, god dang it. Kuya really wants me, huh? <laughs> Oh no, your Wi-Fi dying? It's okay. Come back later. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And I have also... <laughs> well... <laughs> I have my money. <laughs> I gotta sell a kidney at this rate. 
Oh my god. You need gra you need grandpa's cane. You gotta wait for him. You gotta you gotta you gotta spend your you gotta use your magic card, baby. <laughs> That's what I did. That's what I did. It's very painful actually. I shouldn't have spent, but it's also Edmund. This means whatever that comes next event, I am gonna free to play. Hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna free to play. I I think at best I might spend is for the backgrounds. Yeah. That's what that's what I'm into. I, I love to collect the backgrounds and the music. So far I collected every single background. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I missed any. Alright guys, so the new event is dropped. This event features Kuya and Edmund as part of the banner. So guys, uh, are you guys ready? Shall we start? Chapter 1 baby, let's go! The new loading screen is so refreshing, right? Me too, me too. I, I really love it. It's really nice. I didn't expect it to be that nice actually. I thought I I thought I will miss bright purity a lot, but after seeing what they did for the new the new opening, right? I you know what? I'm very satisfied. Free to play? Are you sure? I was very free to play. I I was until until this one. <laughs> the last time, the last time I I spent quite a lot was for uh the moon astral duo kuya and quincy i i really spent a lot on that one <laughs> uh... wow this three tier chocolate tower is really melting your mouth plus the hazelnut wafers and gooey maple syrup are just drenching it in maple uh, in syrup is truly the icing on the cake if you pardon the pun <laughs> Oh, Edmund, you're so smug! Anyway, I have never seen this expression on him before. Either that or I forgot. Holy crap, look at that. He's smug. He's like, hey, <laughs> free to load money. Stop it, Abel. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Me too. I can see they put a lot of budget to meet equality. Yes, especially this event. Holy crap. Like, uh, I haven't went through the event yet, but I went through Edmund's card already, like all the intimacy rooms. It's really different from the previous events, actually. A lot- uh, the quality went up a lot, actually. I'm very, very surprised, like... And I'm very satisfied. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I could show you guys, but... But, you know, I don't want to spoil you guys. And also, I want you guys to work for your porn. So, this porn is my porn. Me and me and my own. Yes, yes, yes. So, good luck, you guys. <laughs> drenching, in, uh, drink, drenching it in syrup is truly... Oh, wait, I said that already. Y you have my gratitude for inviting me here to try your latest creations. I'm the one who should be doing the thanking since it opened almost a year ago. Passion Cafe has raked in way more cash than any of its competitors. Yeah, it looks like b business is booming. This place has been packed ever since we arrived. It's a no wonder that I regularly see this establishment on the kingdom's top dessert rankings. I'm guessing that's something only a real dessert expert would know about. <laughs> 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 of course, you didn't expect that we'd be happy with conquering just one holiday, did you? Purse strings get particularly loose around certain holidays, a fact that we learned to take advantage of by creating all kinds of chocolatey treats packaged in fancy boxes, all while sourcing low price ingredients. Edmund, let's eat some more of this chocolate tower. Uh, what on the Klein continent are you doing? I haven't tried the bit that you're holding yet, so feed it to me. Ah! <laughs> I would feed it to you, Aiden, you starving child. <laughs> How could you expect me to do such a thing in a public space? Show some restraint. <laughs> Oh jeez, you didn't have to stamp on my toe st stomp on my toe. 
Um, <laughs> dumbass Incubus, if you're coming down with something, you get the hell out of here. I can't have you scaring off paying customers. Hey, I'm just trying to re kindly remind everyone that all this chocolate wouldn't exist without my incredibly hard work and dedication. You had me selling so much- so much- what? <laughs> you had me selling so much libido chocolate last autumn, I thought I was a goner for sure. What's the main ingredient? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make up for all that almighty disaster you caused because of the special ingredient. Uh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> the special ingredient you added. I had to take all the, my chocolate off the shelves and come up with a totally new range of products. L Libido chocolate? I've never heard such of such a thing. When did it first go on sale? And what its flavor profile? Do you really want to try, Edmund? <laughs> well, no, 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 Aiden, 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 no, 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 Aiden, no. You, you should shut, shut up. Let, let Edmund try. <laughs> Edmund, I wouldn't dig any deeper if I were you. I guess it makes sense you wouldn't know, wise captain. How so? It's unthinkable that any popular new confection could escape my attention. That would be it's because it's only sold on the black market. <laughs> oh my god. No, Morve, I don't think you're meant to say I don't think you should say that to a knight. Oh my gosh. One mouthful and you'll feel you you start to smell real, real sweet and you feel all warm and milk and silky inside, just like melted chocolate. If for long, you'll be as horny as Momo during mating season. How could you market something so so shameful? <laughs> the more shameful it is, the more profit I could make. I even saved some especially for Master. <laughs> Dama, welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? It's been a while. Today we're playing New Carnival. <gasps> Speaking of New Carnival, oh my god. Okay, I I'm gonna tell you guys the story right after this chapter. Okay, I because 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 I have attended the the concert, not the live uh, the live live event, not the actual place itself. I didn't fly there, but my friends uh and I we. Uh, set up project a projector in my house, and then we watched it together, and we had light sticks and everything. It was really, really cool. I I would like to talk about that a little bit more. Uh, just just after this chapter, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. That's good, Dama. That's good to hear. Hey now, Edmund. Don't look at me like that. I've never tried it. I swear. Who the fuck? Whoa. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Mother, why does that bear have ears like- No, why does that man have ears like a bear? So stay away from him! Let's pay for these and get out of here! Uh, 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 I like to buy some too. Huh? That customer that just came in. Is he a yokai? One that hasn't fully transformed yet. What's a half-transformed yokai doing in a royal capital? Brave guy. Brave? Are yokai not supposed to come into the royal capital? No, as long as they follow all the laws and decrees, they are free to come and go as they please. However... However, he's scaring away all my customers! No. I better call him over. Kuya? <laughs> who else? Wait, who else? Oh, this guy. Okay, never. Oh, he's holding chocolate! That's cute. The yokai, fuzzy bear ears and all, stands in the front of the group, a nervous look on his face. When he sees Edmund, he begins to slowly retreat. Nani? Ahem! Mr. Bear Yokai, sir! Welcome to Passion Cafe! Here we sell all kinds of chocolate, pastries, and desserts! Is this your first visit? Ah, uh, who are you people? Oh, sorry for scaring you like this. Is this an RP game? It's, uh, it's not an RP game. I don't know what's it called. Is this an RPG? 
Yeah, I guess it is an RPG. It's a BLR18 RPG. Yeah. <laughs> It's a porn game. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> With plot. Surprisingly, this thing has feelings. This thing has depression. This thing has many, many... It has a Seiyu event. Basically. It, it There was a concert for it recently. There was a Seiyu event. There was a short story event. And it's gonna, it's gonna have a manga soon. That's... that's, that's yeah. <laughs> that's... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Abel got it right. It's just, we don't often get customers as unique as you, sir. As such, we'd like to, uh... Ah, we'd like to do a quick interview. An interview? Oh, I love his little belt thing. There was a little bear. Oh my god, that's cute. That's right. We want to learn about what makes our customers tick. I'm guessing you're not from the local area, so what made you choose this to, to visit this shop? Yeah, look at that! Oh my god, it looks like a cookie cat! Cookie cat! He left his family behind! Behind! <laughs> I just really want to buy some chocolate. I happened to try some by chance and I'll never forget that sweet flavor, that silky smooth texture. <sighs> I've heard that the store was opened by a non-human, so I decided to take my chances and see if I could purchase some chocolate. Oh wow, I see my name has already spread far and wide. Take your chances. Is there some sort of danger involved in buying chocolate? <laughs> well, as you can see, I still haven't properly mastered the art of transformation. So I might attract a lot of attention while walking through the market, or maybe get stopped by some knights. Oh, I've never thought about that before. I got, a, I got, I go to the market with Yakuma and Garu all the time, but I guess they look too human for anyone to notice. Oh no, Dama. Okay, bye bye. Thank you for dropping by. The color of his fur looks so warm and cozy. He is. He's just a big daddy. He's a big papa bear. He's just trying his best. He just wants some chocolate. That's adorable. If my fellow knights have treated you poorly despite your pure intentions, I'd like to offer my sincere apologies. I, s I suppose it's reasonable. It's my fault for not mastering transformation quickly enough. By the sounds of it, the royal capital isn't exactly welcoming yokai with open arms. I wouldn't put it quite like that. Despite for the most part, keeping out of each other's affairs, rumors of man-eating yokai have led to many humans developing a somewhat irrational fear of yokai. Uh, I would never eat humans. Honey and chocolate taste much, much better. However, there are also plenty of humans who will viciously hunt and kill yokai. As such, both sides are regularly at each other's throats. Please, please be believe me. I'm not. I'm not looking for any trouble. Oh, oh, baby, he just wants to have some candy. Poor, poor guy. I've never tasted anything so delicious as chocolate. Even honey pales in comparison. So there's even chocoholic yokai, but isn't it like poisonous or something? Poisonous? What are you talking about, master? Wait, was the chocolate in your world full of poison? That sucks. No, no, it's totally fine for humans to eat, but as for animals... Yeah, that's right. That's that's very true, guys. Guys, if you have a cat, you have a dog, basically any freaking animal, chocolate is usually a no-no. Okay, don't, don't poison your animals, guys. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain, but seeing as the cocoa beans here turn people into big gooey chocolate monsters, they must be pretty different to the beans back home. Huh, that is very tr Guys, did you know that white chocolate is actually not chocolate at all? It's just butter. It's butter of something. Cocoa butter? I think that's what it is. I think, yeah. I think it was just cocoa butter and a lot of sugar. I didn't know that until, like, I'm much older, surprisingly. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I sincerely thought it was chocolate because it, I I guess it just doesn't taste like chocolate, but it looked like chocolate. Close enough, you know. <laughs> Plus, yokai don't really class as animals or beasts, right? Uh, well, Mr. Bear Yokai, sir, I'd say you deserve some praise for coming all the way here, out here to buy some chocolate. Indeed, one should never feel ashamed for of appreciating and enjoying desserts. You can stand proud with your head with your head held high. Aster, could you maybe make an exception and sell him some chocolate? <laughs> what do you mean exception? I never turn away a paying trust customer. Oh, thank you. I'll make sure to buy as much as I can to take back home. I want to introduce the others to the magic of chocolate. No problem, but first, I've got a quick question. Based on what you just said, have most of your fellow yokai have never tried chocolate before? Yes, unfortunately, the yokai of the forest believe chocolate to be f a food eaten by only freaks and humans. They don't understand why would anyone eat something so sweet and sticky when fresh cocoa beans are readily available. What? How can they be so narrow-minded? I, I mean, that can only mean one thing. Tons of yokai are just sitting around waiting to hand over their life savings to yours truly. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear anyone say that. <laughs> hey, I know that look. Don't even think about it, you shitty little vampire. Gosujin-sama! So intelligent, so charming! Help me think of a good way to make an absolute killing. Huh? Why me? Damn, Aster, businessman as usual. <laughs> businessman. But yes. Oh man, I kind of want to like... You know, there's actually a chocolate pudding fruit out there. So I follow this one YouTuber who tries like various fruits overseas. I don't know. He says there is a chocolate pudding fruit, but unfortunately, every single darn chocolate pudding fruit he has eaten so far is either undercooked, or like it's uh unripe or like overripe. So he's he has never really gotten a chance. I'm just waiting for him to get a real chocolate pudding fruit. Apparently, if you add a lot of sugar to it, it tastes like chocolate pudding. So I'm like, oh, where can I get that? Alright guys. Alright, so that was chapter one. I wanna talk about the live event guys. Have you did you guys go and attend the live event too? It was really, really nice. <laughs> oh man. I don't think I'm meant to say so much. I, I I don't wanna spoil too much, so I'll summarize. Oh no, the Abel, your face. Okay, that just means that just means you did not. You did not get to go and see uh me too i didn't get to fly but i pay uh for the live streaming ticket yeah so me and my friends we all gather at my house to um to watch it on my projector actually so th shout out to like my, my dear group of friends i can't say their name or they they will get doxxed <laughs> but yeah the event was awesome they started off with some theme songs and a video montage. Oh no, 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 no. They started off with short stories, actually. They're short stories. Okay, every single countdown. Ooh, okay, what's happening to my, my phone here? Um, so every single countdown, right? You've seen so far, like, example, um... Oh man, I can't remember anymore. Fuck, okay, never mind, but... The sentences they say. All oh, right, right. The greatest example. It would be Kuya's countdown um, announcement. He said something about, "Oh well, they're my offspring, right? So I should take responsibility for them." Then holy shit, the story, the short story was about that. So I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> yeah! <laughs> My personal, my personal favorite, honestly, was uh, Edmunds and Kuya's and and Garu's one in particular. Garu's one was just a meme. It was just a meme. It was just so weird. I, I... 
<laughs> Kuya said darling. Oh my god, of course. Yes, yes, he did. Edmund's story. Oh man. Oh man. Kuya's story though. So Aiden found some foxes. He got tricked into believing that he gave birth to those fo foxes, I guess. Yeah. He played with the foxes the whole entire day. Then Kuya showed up and was like, Haha, it must be hard work that uh, you gave birth to all of them, huh? Hee <laughs> hee, ha ha. I was like, <laughs> you asshole. I, I knew what the, what was the story going on here. But for a second there, I was like, Hey yo, we're gonna have a Kuya family. Yo, I would be so happy. <laughs> then Edmund's story, right? Holy shit. That was hilarious, actually. Uh, Edmund... Okay, so one of his... Uh, I think his SR room? He was read fanfiction, right? Fanfiction. So, and then he got violated that way. <laughs> so, Aiden was like, hee hee ha ha, and... He talks about this one fanfic book kind of novel kind of thing. Um, then Edmund, the next day, he actually found that thing. And <laughs> he bought it. And then, and then Aiden apparently showed up and he was like, what, what is that? <laughs> then, well, you can, you can tell how it went. Edmund bonked him and resin pepperonis. <laughs> oh man. But Blade was really funny too. Not gonna lie. Blade was like there for everything. Blade was watching. Blade was watching Olivin and Morve go into a suspicious place together. <laughs> it was really oh my god i would never <laughs> everyone should be careful of like blades blades uh, uh recording eyes or something i swear blade is like one like every single indian wife like every single asian housewife or something that likes to gossip right he is always there like they're always watching they're always ready like oh but for him, he won't gossip. He he wrote it all down on his diary. He saw he he was there when Edmund bought the stupid fan fiction book thing, and he was also there when Oliver and Morway went to buy suspicious suspicious liquids from a suspicious store. <laughs> uh, and I. You know, the one thing I really like about his story is that his handwriting was very, very neat. But but the way he draws people is just chaotic AF. I think that was really, really cute. <laughs> oh man, it was a it was a really good time. It was a really, really good time. Yeah, he is the most dangerous man. He is like a housewife. He's always recording with his eyes. <laughs> and then like uh everything oh man olivin's story was really <laughs> all of it oh man olivin's story though because the voice actor was there uh one one night love yeah one night love son and and ne netoru san netoru san uh aiden's A aiden's voice actor yeah I, <laughs> you know i never pieced two and two together because i played another bl game called room number nine and i didn't know that I didn't realize that Netoru-san was voicing one of the main characters in that BL game too, and it was a pretty extreme game. Not gonna lie. <laughs> then when I realized that, I then I thought about like the live event and every time I was like, "Damn, this man, he's so brave to get out, go out in public." <laughs> But it was so nice. He he said that it was his first time overseas, like the entire time, uh, as well as One Night Love. These two, it was their first time overseas. So I was like, you know, I I I hope they had a good time there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's go with chapter two, guys. Ikuzo. Enough of the, the li live event thing. I think you guys can could have seen like some fan arts like depicting the stories, right? <laughs> but what is you what what are you guys' favorite story of the live event if you if you guys have attended? Personally for me, I mean I'm biased, but Edmund is my number one, but I think Kuya is like honestly my first one. They posted that uh photo uh they take photos of their hands before going there. Oh, yeah, 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 I saw, I saw, it was very cute. 
Hey, actually, surprisingly, One Night Love Son, despite how much of a bottom that he is in all as Olivin, he's surprisingly very, very like like very dom, very dom actually. He's very top. He's very top energy actually. <laughs> I hereby declare the second ever White Day Cash Grabbing Conference now in session! Uh, are you totally sure about that name? Hey, it's like I said, we've already conquered every holiday in the royal capital. <laughs> now the only way forward is to spread the magic of chocolate across the entire continent. To be honest, I'm surprised that to hear you haven't already opened up cafes in other territories. Could you be experiencing difficulties in procuring the correct permits? Permits, permits. I can get those with ease, but there's a whole ton of other problems to deal with. Like... How would you store chocolate in an intense heat of the fire territory? And what if the locals don't have a clue what chocolate is? That's a lot of- there's a lot to consider. They don't know what chocolate is? Oh wow, that- is chocolate a delicacy in this world? Oh... Huh, why not try opening a pop-up shop? I used to work at them all the time back when I had a part-time job in a big department store. Yo, honestly, Aiden, you're like, what, 25, my guy. How many part-time jobs do you have? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> pop-up shop? Hi, Navi. Welcome, welcome. Yes, it is this game. How are you doing? Today's game, um... Today's uh, event features Edmund and Kuya's cards. Yes, yes, yes. They will be the highlight of this event. <laughs> so far, it's uh, it is almost White Valentine's coming soon. I think another few more weeks, actually. Yes, yes, yes. So now the game is gonna celebrate that. Last year we had Edmund and Yakumo for uh, White Valentine's, and now they're gonna do something similar to that, but more of a tea party. Yes. Aiden is telling us to get 10 part-time jobs to get all the hotties in the games. Honestly, yeah. I should really get a part-time job because honestly, my spending for this event was, uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> I'm so poor, you guys. I'm, I'm so poor. <laughs> Oh, and today I had the worst luck of my uh, of, of my day too. Like, not only Edmund took like crazy amount of of tries for me to to get him right, but my lunchbox also broke. My lunchbox, like my my real lunchbox, actually fucking broke today. Holy shit! I'm like, bruh, I barely used it for a year. I mean, come on, I... <laughs> no, actually, I barely used it for like a total of... Two months. You know, three... Yeah, two months, basically. Yeah, I broke my leg for most of my, my job. Holy shit. Yeah, I used it for two... Oh, man. That sucks. I need to get... <laughs> I need to get one tomorrow. Who's tea... A tea party? Whose tea and milk are we gonna drink? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of course, Edmund's TDs and Kuya's Milkies! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Aw, uh, Abel, thank you for the solidarity. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, what's a pop-up shop? It's when you open up a little shop for a limited time in a new area to sell your products while getting your brand name out there. But as this gentleman said, his fellow yokai are already against all forms of chocolate. In such a case, sales are likely to be poor no matter what we try. Exactly! That's why I need your help, master! With your killer good looks and that powerful noggin of yours, I know you can come up with something! Well, if we want to communicate with the yokai, kind of like how we did th with this gentleman here, how about holding a tea party? A large-scale gathering with refreshments? Yeah, pretty much, but nothing too serious. There'll be food and drinks, and humans and yokai alike can take part. That way, both sides can relax and enjoy themselves. 
They'll be able to introduce the yokai to chocolate while helping the humans to understand they're not as uh ferocious as they might seem. Ooh, ow! Ah, 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 please. Okay. Yokai come in all shapes and sizes. In that respect, we are no different to humans. What's more important is that everyone gets to try the chocolate, right? <gasps> yeah, my phone, there is... I don't know what's happening. No, recently I've been in danger in several occasions, like legit. Um, I could not pay for parking when I go to work. I don't know what's happening. I paid my internet. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I can't access the internet to pay for my parking. I'm very angry. I'm very, I'm very frightened actually. You know, I had to like, I had to like connect to the, the Wi-Fi at like some laundry shop just to, just to pay for my parking. It sucks. How old, how old is phone kun? I think. I think it's two years old by now. I think it is. I actually, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, I think it's two years old. Yeah, more or less. It should be. Uh, I got it mid-pandemic. That's what I remember. Uh, two, two years old isn't that old. My laptop, my previous laptop lasted for seven years. And the phone before that lasted for five years. And the phone before that lasted for at least three years. So... Yeah, it's quite young. I think the connected co the connectivity is having an issue, I guess. But the battery and everything is pretty good. It's still pretty okay. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. You can even bring along s some of that honey you love so much. The more food we have to offer, the more interaction between both sides there will be. Understood. I don't know exactly how they'll react to the idea, but... I will try my best to get all my friends to take part. As for human participants, I reckon all of them should be able to attract plenty of willing individuals. If it's not too bold, I'd like to request that you let me take care of the recruiting the human participants. Eh? No problem. Do you have some friends you want to invite? No. No. <laughs> Do you have some friends that you want to invite? No. But I want to provide training to my knights. <laughs> Edmund, do you have friends? Am I your only friend, Edmund? Oh no. Oh no. Edmund, is not Do you not have a friend after your only friend died? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the, his only friend died. Lucian. No, no, he's... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why is he making it sound like a dead corporate seminar? Edmund a lonely child. He is. He actually is. That's the thing about him. I really love how... Oh man, no, I can't say too much. I can't say too much uh, until the story is over. Okay, then I'll t I'll I'll talk to you guys about the intimacy room. It's honestly, it's kind of really sad, actually. You know, I I really feel bad. I really felt bad for Edmund. While ca carrying out our duties, the knights have, on occasion, encountered a few of the more mischievous natured yokai. Despite the casualties being extremely rare, many of the knights have developed a strong sense of fear towards our forest-dwelling neighbors. I believe your tea party could help them uh, overcome said fear and forge a path towards a relationship built on harmony and cooperation. <laughs> Ahem, spreading... <laughs> of course you have Lushen. <laughs> ah. My guy so shy. <laughs> Spreading the joy of desserts is, of course, also one of my sworn duties. Alright, looks like we got our participants. As for the venue, you can leave that to me. And I better go harvest some cocoa beans and recruit a few extra workers, right? You better not add any more of your special ingredients to the chocolate this time. I'm warning you. 
I only meant to make a little suggestion, but now everyone seems fully committed. <laughs> I guess it's true what they say. No one can resist a good party. Ah, This has been wholesome so far. Has Quincy eaten chocolate? Huh. Has Kuya... Wait, has Kuya eaten chocolate? <gasps> <laughs> Hello, Nano. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? How are you doing? How are you doing? Today we're playing new carnival, Forest Carnival. We're on chapter two so far. Right now we are making business. <laughs> we're going to the forest and gonna set up a tea party. Yeehaw! <laughs> When's the wedding? It's already done. I'm not. No one's invited. Only me. Only me and Edmund. In our private, private forest. Okay. <laughs> See? Here we go. Here we are. The forest. Yes, exactly. This is where we at. Even... Look, the fl the flowers are white. It represents my hair. Okay? That's... That's little old me <laughs> getting stepped on. <laughs> Kuya probably tried it once, but he may not like the taste. Ooh. Oh, that kind of reminds me of like 99% cacao. I can never understand people who eat that. Like my limit, I guess, will be 80% cacao. That That's pretty okay. But I think it's still a bit intense. You know, like... Mm. Oh, maybe Kuya might not like the sweet ones, actually. Yeah, because he's old, right? Old people don't like sweet things. Old people just like medium sweet things. Yeah. <laughs> the Lulu, excuse me, no, no, I'm not, I'm not the Lulu. <laughs> I like to believe. Uh, you, you watch me. One day, I shall print a life-size standee of Edmund, and I will put it in my room, and you guys shall see. <laughs> you guys shall see. <laughs> He's my wife. <laughs> Come to think of it, oh. I heard you ran into a spot of bother with some yokai in the mountains. In fact, I heard you were almost eaten. <gasps> almost eaten. What? Wait, Edmund, are, were you not there? Edmund, you were there. Oh wait, no. He was talking about the the silver miracles. Um, when when Aiden was almost eaten by the bear. Yeah, it was by the bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't the bird. The bird didn't eat Aiden. The bear almost ate Aiden. Because, and, then, and then Quincy saved him. Yeah, that's what I remember now. Mm. Aren't you the least a bit scared? Well, yeah, I guess I'm a little afraid. But... <laughs> Wow, even my phone's dying. I love to say this. We love to say this. <laughs> oh. oh my god, he looks so nice. Oh my god, you see, guys, he doesn't need to wear, like, like, extraordinarily a lot of, like, shit on him. He just looks so nice. Oh. You came in the right time. Look at him. Yo, he... We are getting married! <laughs> Guys, you guys should be very afraid of the, the, Ju the June Bride. The June Bride, honestly. He looks so handsome here. He looks like a fucking top here. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, I'm excited for June then. June should have June Bride. Not only the summer idol event. I don't think they can do idol event again. And <laughs> It's gotta be June Bride. Let's see who are we gonna get married to next. <laughs> So far, they, they've got a new carnival's two greatest cash cows, okay? Edmund and Kuya, these two best yam yam. <laughs> but just like Bear Yokai said, Yokai come in all shapes and sizes. Take Yakumo, Garu, and Karu, for example. They're all great guys. And Kuya, too, I guess. Kuya, too. <laughs> the slander. You know, I may have his card, but I can never get rid- I cannot. I can't. I can't get used to- 
<laughs> oh no, I made you guys small. No, no. Okay, here's the now. No, no. Fuck it for me. Stop. <laughs> no, oh my god. Hit them. Hit them. Stop. <laughs> Sir Knight, Mr. Aiden, over here, over here. Apologies for our tardiness. Is this the venue you've chosen for the tea party? That's right, specially selected by Mr. Bear Yokai and yours truly. This area is right on the border between the light and wood territories, right? Should make it easy for all the guests to get here. That hip shape, that's right. The <laughs> I can't call him a slut anymore. He okay, guys. I I retract the statement I have made in my tech top. He's no longer the slut of the game. He's the wife of the game. <laughs> Delicious. Yum yum. <laughs> to be honest, the yokai really hate when humans invade their lands. There's even an unwritten rule among the yokai that says that you, ca you can deal with invaders any way you see fit. Oh, no wonder Garu and I nearly got... So, this, uh, this area makes a perfect neutral meeting space, but... Why do Edmund and I have to wear the, these special outfits? Control, Ayumu, control. No! I, I'll froth in my mouth if I have to. <laughs> uh. <laughs> because you two are in charge of greeting the guests and acting as mighty joy spreading envoys of chocolate divinity. You gotta look the part, you know. Joy spreading envoys of chocolate divinity. Understood. I will perform this task to the best of my ability. And man, you don't have to be so. <laughs> oh my god, leg. Oh, how scandalous. Ankles. <laughs> Just look at him right in that tight shirt, carrying those flowers. Damn, I'm getting another burst of inspiration. Why the hell haven't they invented cameras in this world yet? But this place is gonna need a lot of work before it's ready to host a tea party. Anyone got good ideas? There's a field full of pretty flowers not from not far from here. My friends and I can pick some to decorate the venue. I just noticed his name became Greedy Bear Yokai. This poor kid, he just wants some chocolate, <laughs> and the game just calls him Greedy. A furry? No, no, no. He's an he's actually a, a yokai. I guess he's a furry, I guess. I mean... <laughs> we do not shame. We do not shame. He looks like a good guy. He looks like a good bear. I'm planning to recruit participants from one of our newly formed squadrons of knights. Along with the enlisted yokai, we can split everyone into three teams to take care of the venue maintenance, decorations, and refreshments. Astra and yourself will be in charge of researching brand new flavors of chocolate. I'm suddenly pretty relieved that we have someone so good at dolling out jobs and uh, helping us out. How very pathetic. I can't help but shake my head at such a pitiful scene. <laughs> uh, is there any point in me asking for how long you have been eavesdropping, Kuya? The longtime forest resident sits on a tree branch nearby, ridicule clearly audible in his every word. You stand there in the open, prattling on and on and on, and yet you accuse me of eavesdropping? Have worms started eating away at your brain, young master? Control, Abel, control! 
I can't think of any other reason you'd suggest such an absurd event. An absurd gathering of absurd individual eating absurd food. What's so absurd about it? Don't tell me you ne you're just like the other yokai. Never tried chocolate before, so you think researching new flavors is super weird. A sickly sweet and unfathomably dull concoction. Nothing more. Words that's such as sickly and sweet barely scratch the surface surface of the sheer depth and mystery of desserts. Hell yeah, you just don't you just don't get it, Kuya. Chocolate provides unlimited possibilities. <laughs> Here, let me introduce Passion Cafe's newest creation, the chocolate surprise box. Aiden had originally brought the box along to let the bear yokai have a taste of their latest chocolate creations. He lifts the lid, lid to reveal a grid of 25 small squares, each covered with a piece of tissue paper. And you call this a surprise? That's right, each square contains a different flavored chocolate. You might get one filled with hot chili, or maybe one packed with sour berry jam. Who knows? Fancy a try? You lose your charm when you get cocky, young master. However, I'll play along for now. K Kuya hops down from his perch and twirls a fingertip over the box, and selects a piece of chocolate from the center. He gives it a quick sniff before popping it into his mouth, using the tip of his tongue to examine its flavor. They are covered with super thick layer of chocolate. There's no way you can tell the flavor by just the smell, so what did you pick? Is this really how you plan to entertain your guests? Oh, just look at that face. He must have picked a real nasty one. <laughs> we got we have got plenty more planned. He's not Yeah, Kuya Grandpa not satisfied. He is not amused. You poor guy. He needs a, he needs to try another one. Maybe he likes a spicy chocolate. There's a I saw nasi. No wait, no nasi goreng, Kit Kat before. I think it was Kit Kat. No, it was chocolate. A long time ago, like a nasi goreng. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect actually. <laughs> my my Indonesian colleague gave it to me once, and I was like, "Woo!" Tries it out. It. It was not great. <laughs> it tasted like rice with chocolate. It tasted like salty rice with chocolate. I don't know if she made it herself and she tried to fool me with it, but... <laughs> she said it was good, so I tried out of courtesy. I kind of regret. <laughs> I honestly don't like, don't like chocolate. I only like tea flavored desserts. Ooh, tea flavored desserts. I like Earl Grey like flavored desserts. Don't go lie, it's pretty nice. And matcha. I mean, who doesn't like matcha? Matcha is pretty good. Ah, for me, I'm a real sweet tooth. <clears throat> but I've gotten used to dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with a lot of sweetness is still okay, but. Uh, I guess I like Belgium chocolate. I don't know, Family Mart had it, Belgium chocolate. Flavored ice cream. I thought that was really, really nice. I like really milky, creamy, creamy, creamy chocolate, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I would kill for some lint chocolate. Lint has always been good to me. Like, I love their assortment. Nah, that stuff is good. If it's too sweet, I can't. Hmm, I think... The flavors that I like, I don't think you got, you you will like it actually. Mm. It was once I tried alcohol chocolate. It was just disgusting. <laughs> Maybe it's because I just didn't like alcohol and just tasted like alcohol to me, and it kind of ruined the chocolate. Not gonna lie, it was just like yeah, nar. If I want alcohol, I would just drink some alcohol. <laughs> Like a chocolate fountain, chocolate-coated co uh, toys, there's no end to the fun you can have with chocolate. 
And to top it all off, you'll have a giant piece of chocolate. Even bigger than me, and with mystery prizes hidden inside. What? Oh my god. Yo, guys, I am betting you here right now that Blade will prepare a giant Aiden chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, Ayumu, I, I like liquor chocolate. I mean, it's not wrong. It's not a bad thing to like it. But it just means your tongue and my tongue can never, ever, <laughs> can never agree. Yeah, we're not in the same world. <laughs> Shun the non believer. <laughs> Shun Abel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm baby. I like sweet things. Mm -hmm. I bet you've never seen any stuff like that before, right? Seeing is believing. Fancy joining the fun? I know I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but... I Even if he doesn't enjoy himself, he wouldn't do anything too scary, right? When did we decide on all that? I reckon <laughs> he's just trying to get one over on the old fox, but all those ideas sound like a, like real money makers. That's our fabulous master for you. Is it really okay to deceive him? None of the yokai in the forest dare to get on his bad side. Is Kuya considered to be your leader? Uh, how should I put it? He rarely pays any notice to us younger yokai. There are those who worship him, and but there are also plenty who fear his power, like myself. I do my best to keep my distance. I can certainly understand that. And not because I want to discriminate against yokai, but because you never know what this particular yokai is thinking. Hmm... If you can truly show me something truly intriguing, I suppose I can attend your lamentable tea party, young master. Eh? Kukuyo sama! You're taking part two? Problem, tiny bear yokai. Alright, settle down. If you're gonna join, you better change into one of these outfits too. And as luck would have it, I have a spare outfit right here. That's a bit too convenient. <laughs> How very disappointing. Do you really expect me to wear something so unappealing? Kuya just put it- Oh! <sighs> wow! Wow! Okay! That's- <laughs> With a click of Kuya's fingers, the outfit bursts into purple flames. However, the fire doesn't burn. Instead, it mysteriously alters the out mysteriously alters the outfit. <laughs> Holy moly! Kuya looks damn so damn good in white. He made it so elegant while keeping his signature style, especially in the chest area. <laughs> Now's not the time to be drooling over hot guys. Plus, he changed pretty quickly. Do I detect a hint of excitement? <laughs> He's just excited. That's what he is. He's just excited. <laughs> oh, that was hot though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, the cane though. Oh my god, guys. I should... I should show you a little bit of that. I should show you a little bit. Hee 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 hee. I got his card right here. There we go. Woo! Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Wait. Isn't that the flower at his house? <gasps> I didn't notice that. Oh gosh. Wait. That reminds me. I had not... Woo! His, sh his shoes. Oh my god. He has a little belt there too. That reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me. I have not seen his, like, uh... <gasps> oh, no. I have not seen his, um... Movement? His specialty movement yet? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Wow! 
このお茶会も多少は賞賛に値するかもしれません現実であれば一年現実でおいおやこのチョコレートがあれあん I can't that is so that is so pretty that is so pretty that is so pretty you guys should also see Edmund's one too I can never get used to it but <laughs> Edmund's one is also so pretty give me a second where is he where's Edmund damn it I had you where are you oh here you are here we go. Wait, no, I should. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, he is lying. He is lying. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to play it again. I'm gonna try to play it again. Please enjoy. さい、私、今度。何をする今度また受け取ってくれるか。これは少し。ここ数日の手伝いだ。君の気遣いに対する俺ら。とにかく。ありがとう。感謝している。最近の偽魔法使い。<笑> <えっと、笑> <笑> わたしが思っていた以上に努力している。まさか彼とはこんなにたくさんのことを経験するなんて。今はもう彼が偽物かどうかなんて。どうでもいい。Do you guys Do you do you guys read the text? Can you guys read the text? <laughs> 今度また1番。なんと舐める。今度また1番。最近の偽魔法を受け取ってくれるか。ああ。ええ、ドモントじゃん。奇遇だなあ、じゃなくて。ああ、巡回中か。何か用か。私が仕事中だと分かっているの。手短に済ませてくれ。時間を無駄にさせるな。用事がないと話しかけちゃいけないのかよ。しばらくぶりだったから偶然街で会えて嬉しかったんだよ。だ、ダメというわけではない。ただ毎回騎士団の仲間たち
it was exactly that moment that I fell in love with Edmund. And I'm like, God, thank you. Thank you, New Carnival. Thank you, Pink Core. Thank you, Aerolabs. It's okay, you can get two wives. Thank you for the solidarity. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Report. These are all ingredients that we've collected so far. Please give them a quick once over. Uh, Yakima! Uh, I'm not Sir Edmund. You don't have to be so formal with me. Hehe, <laughs> the chef's a yokai. This should be good. Me being a yokai has nothing to do with my cooking skills. Don't be silly. Human food tastes like dirt. All weird looking with way too many flavors mixed in. We ain't like that damn bear. We'll take a sh yokai chef any day of the week. Whoa, this is this is teetering on a very sensitive topic. Once we once I really thought about it. Oh shit. This is getting this is getting Silence. Our food is anything but weird. You're the ones who eat grass and raw meat. Revolting. Oy. Enough. If you can't cook, leave. We have no use for indiv useless individuals. Dante! Oh my god, a whole gang's here. <laughs> nothing... Nothing I hate more than a cocky human. The Sun Lord's berating words appear to have a desired effect. Both the knights and yokai quietly file out of the kitchen, leaving Yakumo and Dante in peace. Oh, Sun Lord Dante, thank you for bringing these spices all the way from Solaria. It, it's my first time using most of them. Could I, could I ask you to give a quick introduction? Hmm. Fine, according to that vampire, most yokai do not like the taste of regular chocolate. As such, an, the addition of a few new spices might be enough to pique their in interest. It's a crude theory, but not without merit. Are you listening? Uh, I, I'm listening! Very well. As to how to cater to the chocolate to their taste, do you have any ideas? Ideas... Ideas. Hmm, speak up? Oh well, based on what they said earlier, it seems that they're not too fond of strange looking foods or foods containing many different flavors. If we were to sculpt chocolates to resemble flowers, they might be more inclined to. Oh, oh Yakumo! <laughs> no, Yakumo, don't cry. He's so sick. <laughs> He's so scared. Oh, he's... He really looks so serious. Maybe he thinks my idea is silly. Um, if you have any better ideas, what do you achieve? Uh, what do you expect to achieve by making flower-shaped chocolates? Well, perhaps the yokai would be more inclined to try them. Mm. Merely getting them to try the chocolate isn't enough. They have to enjoy it too. You yourself are a yokai. Can we leave the task of developing suitably flavored chocolate to you? Eh? I'm not sure. I'm not like most other yokai. Oh, this isn't going so well. He doesn't look too pleased. Why are my knights arguing with a group of yokai who, over whose food is more disgusting just outside of the kitchen? Sir Edmund! Um, well, just now... I told them to leave, useless, the lot of them, making all that racket. Vice Captain, are you really prepared to give this man responsibility over all the dishes for the, the tea party? Uh, I know I'm asking a lot from you, Yakumo. Unfortunately, my fellow knights are complete novices when it comes to the cul culinary arts. Perhaps some yokai could help. I'll go make a quick check. That won't be necessary. I'll go. Yakumo. Y yes, Sun Lord Dante. Forget what I said just now. You best stay here. Ah. Uh, did something happen? I, I think I messed up. Sun Lord Dante asked me for ideas on how to modify the chocolate to suit yokai taste, but 
I was he I was hesitant. He didn't ask me to go with him. I think I might have angered him. Rest assured, the Sun Lord doesn't mince words. I'm sure he asked you to stay here because he knows this is where you're needed the most. Perhaps you can share your ideas with him upon your return uh, upon upon his return. I guess they can try rose flavored chocolate with less sugar. Hmm, yeah, I think I think all they gotta do I think they're the kinds of people that just gotta eat 99% cacao. I think that's I think that's the kind of chocolate they like. <laughs> Or add foxtail flowers to the chocolate. Oh my god, Kuya flavored chocolate. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, that kind of makes me want to try put like making chocolate on my own, guys. Oh wait, yeah, it is like white day coming soon. I should I should make some chocolate on stream. Yes. You'll eat all of them? Abel, what if- what if there's a bad effect on you, huh? <laughs> yes, good idea. Okay. I will try my best. Yes, yes, yes. Perhaps you can share your ideas with him upon his return. Oh wait, I said that already. Oi. You wild fiends! How dare you appear for, before the mighty Karu? Hey, hey, isn't, if it isn't that cute little wolf pup from before, not sticking by Kuya-sama's side today? <laughs> huh, that's none of your damn business. Hi, Argus. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh man, Argus, you rather big. How do I make you small? Can I make you small? I think I should make you small. <laughs> It is time to convert you, Saraba. Your horns are still flying. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> your horns are still flying. I think this is close enough. <laughs> I don't mind if I died b because of the flowers. Uh, added to the chocolate. No, Abel, no! Abel, no! <laughs> <laughs> what we say we continue our tail grabbing game from last time? Oh no! I still stop that! Yeah. Get down here so I can show you my true power! How do you command again? <laughs> it's a exclamation mark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that. It's that. Yes, you got it. Yeesh. Be smart. The yokai chased Karu across the flower patches, trampling everything underfoot and making a mess of the entire area. <sighs> this is our nightmares come to life. Oh, what do you mean? The yokai often cause trouble in the border villages, and when we show up to help, they just terrorize us just like that. Hmm, so how do you normally communicate with them? Aw, thank you, Argus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Communicate. An impossible task, if there ever was one. They attack the instant we draw our weapons. Of course, don't draw your weapons! The knights are all terrified of being dragged off to become their next meal. So you're saying they can't be appeased with words? Understood. However, I still like to try. Karu, don't we have something much more important to be getting on with? <laughs> I won't rest until I pluck that bird brain clean like a chicken! But the tea party can't go ahead if we don't collect enough flowers. Didn't you and Garu say you were excited to try all the desserts on offer? Yo, will Garu and Karu die? Because they're like dogs, right? Shit. If they eat chocolate, it <laughs> I feel like they might- Are they okay? <gasps> don't try to deceive me. As long as there's food, I don't care about anything else. You don't need flowers to hold a tea party. Oh, the horns are gone. Thank you, Argus. Uh, Argus is a block man now. Oh my god, that's adorable. You're a skinny boy. But the tea party would be so much prettier if it were filled with the blessings of the forest. Don't you want everyone to have a good time? 
Why would I care if a bunch of filthy humans have a good time or not? They should be the ones making sure I have a good time. The God of Klein teaches us that happiness is shared. <laughs> if we can make the venue as pretty as can be, everyone is sure to be happy. And you'll feel happy too. I don't care about anyone else. Alright, fine. Just pipe down, would you, Garu? <laughs> As for you two gentlemen, would you like to care? Uh, would you like to lend a hand? Hey, human! You got a whole lot of essence. Not scared? We're gonna bite your head off. A lot? Oh, is it Olivin's turn? Oh my god! I think it's Olivin next for next event. No way! His event is passed. Hmm. How about if you come down from there and I teach you how to weave flower wreaths? The two yokai glance at each other and then begin to slowly descend towards the ground. Ah! Alright, since you're being so polite, I suppose I could. Yeah! And you too! Yeah! All of a sudden- What? <laughs> All of a sudden, the yokai swoop in and kick Karu and the knight in their behinds before soaring back into the air. You think we didn't hear you bad-mouthing us just a minute ago, huh? I said nothing but the truth! God, that does it! I'm gonna rip the wings off this pair of featherbird turds! <sighs> I'm supposed I'm left with no other choice. <sighs> oh... Shit, well... They dead! <laughs> Oliver shoots a powerful blast of essence into the air, grazing the wings of the two yokai before landing with a bang by the feet of Karu and the knight. S scary. Oh. We are guests in the forest. As such, we must treat the wildlife with respect. <laughs> no more running in the flower patches. Understood. Wow, that was... that was nice. <laughs> I like how there's so far no real conflict going on by now. We're supposed to see someone like almost dying. I'm just glad that someone is not dying for once. Maybe, maybe chapter, maybe chapter 5. Maybe chapter 5 will change everything, right? <laughs> yes, never make mama scary. Mama said it once. Don't mess around. You gotta listen to mom. <gasps> Toppa! It's Toppa! <gasps> oh my god. Guys. Oh god. Guys, if you have new carnival, you should re like... You should put Quincy as your... Uh, uh, with Aiden in your home screen. Yes. And then you can hear a story where... Aiden tries to, uh, tries to imitate Topper. He literally goes... Gee! Chi 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 and then I was like Lo Mao, what is that? That's just... <laughs> Really? Yes really You guys should try it you should try it I can I can I can put Quincy up Yes 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 You try it now go 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 Abel go Hi there it's so nice to see you we can leave the tables and chairs to the others. So let's build a few few rest areas. You mean like cute little houses? No problem. I'm great at building houses. We don't need any houses. Uh huh? But houses are good places for resting. Ah, what about beds instead? Yeah. <coughs> So you want both? Top top? Top top. That's his nickname. Top top. No problem. Let's make let's build houses and beds for darling and everyone else to rest in. He didn't say that. Never mind. Ah, then we need to find tons of strong materials to make sure the houses can survive the sun and the wind and the rain and attacks on the dead zone. There's plenty of rocks to the southwest and some appropriately aged elm trees nearby. 
You want to show me the way, Top Top? Such a nice person. Ah, uh, but you're not a person. They seem to be communicating somehow. What rotten luck, old friend. Seems like you're stuck looking after a pair of toddlers. <laughs> Get back in your tree if you're not gonna help. <laughs> oh my, I don't mind helping. When the e-droid returns, I'll make sure to let him know we need a house for each and every guest. What do you think? You always go too far. I go too far. Just take a look around. Wow, that's pretty. It's coming, it's all coming together. A group of knights assembles chair after chair, perfectly sized for seating humans, but not so much for the larger bear yokai or the smaller dove yokai. Nearby, a group of yokai assembles their own tables and chairs. Observing, one might think that there was an invisible barrier between the two groups. Oh, Such a dull scene. Why must we work towards this pathetically unachievable goal again and again and again? Ah, Kuya, you here too? The knights and yokai just got a big fight over what angle the flower should be hung at. The, the fucking angle! Oh my god, this is stupid. I... Things don't look much better over here. Not going as smooth as we imagined, huh? <sighs> yeah, like, apparently... No, like, basically... No, the flower should be facing left. No, the flower should be facing right. Yeah. This is... This is... This is just... This is... <laughs> no matter how many decades pass, things always repeat themselves. Right. Wait, are you saying this kind of thing has happened before? The Lord of the Yokai tried many a time to do exactly what you're doing, young master. The result? No different to what you see now. The Lord of the Yokai. Forget young master and the obstinate vice captain. They're humans after all. But the Lord of the Yokai attempting something like this? Does what future did he envision? Yeah, it seems like the Lord of the Yokai has tried it before, but it's kind of like... <gasps> oh, why did it end like that, though? It feels like, hmm... Ah, sorry for making you all get up so early to help out. It's my duty. However, I must admit, I never imagined we'd be able to prepare a suitable venue in just two short days. It's been tough. What's with the Yokai complaining left and right and the, the knights protesting their every move? And dealing with Kuya isn't exactly your strong suit. Must be pretty exhausting, huh? I've tried my best to understand his way of thinking, but I'm ashamed to admit I'm struggling. I'm close to resigning myself to defeat. There's no need to force it. If you get along, you get along. If not, no one's gonna blame you. I'm actually pretty surprised with how fickle he is. I wasn't sure we'd make it this far. But it'd be no fun if everything went to plan, right? That's a good way to look at it, Master. How about I clear up all the leftover items before everyone arrives? Mm. Good idea. If we give it our all this morning, we'll be definitely be ready for the tea party this afternoon. Eh, Kuya? Why are you wake? Why are you up so early? Leaning against a nearby tree, the fox yokai gazes into a distance. Hearing Aiden's voice, he shoots a look his way. A slight smile across his lips. Oh no, I can't trust this bastard. And, oh, young master, you're ever so late. Huh? The sun's only just come up. Wait a sec. Um, can I take back what I just said about it being no fun if everything goes to plan? Please? I would say it's a bit too late for that, young man. Ah, oh, he came because because we're talking shit. We're talking about shit about this grandpa. Oh man, he's here for the gossip. Eh? 
Oh no. Oh. The temporary fences lay trampled, smashed into jagged chunks of timber, the entire venue resembling the site of a recent disaster. The half-built rest areas along with the smashed tables and chairs littered the ground. Even worse, the sacks of uh, the sacks carrying food for the tea party lay ripped to shreds. A foul stench fills the air. Could it be the mystery could it be from the mystery attackers or perhaps the leftover food rotting under the sun? Who who could do something like this? Garu, could I ask you to return to Aster's mansion and gather the other clan members? I'm on it. And what use would that be? Open your eyes and look at the facts. Everyone's hard work and anticipation obliterated in an inst in an instant. Oh, that's it? No, that's it for this week. No, no, no. Is we're stopping day? We're stopping day. Damn. Shit. Okay. Um. Well, that is all for this week, apparently. Thank you, everybody, for dropping by my stream, and what a sad note to leave us on. <laughs> Dang, who could have done that? Come on. Oh, man, I'm betting, I'm betting, like, the knights and the, the yokai were the ones that are like, you know what, it's never gonna work. It's not gonna work. Fuck it, you know what? And I think the yokai wre wrecked it overnight or something. This is so sad. Yeah, we just wanted to have a tea party together. Come on, just, ha just, just get along, you know? We're working hard. So far, the event has been very wholesome, actually. It's very, very wholesome. It's none of that stupid stupid noble shit from, like, you know, the, 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 the ballroom event. There's none of that, like, you know, disgust or whatever. This is just too... Uh, this is just a simple storyline. I, I, I think it's really, really cute. Hi, Sean. Oh no, you're you're coming right when I'm about to end the stream. But thank you so much for dropping by. Hi, Sean. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Happy New Year. Yeah. <sighs> Man, I'm sad. I'm sad. This uh, this thing this thing ended up in a in a really. <laughs> oh well. I guess we'll see you next week. As there's literally I I. There's eight stages. There's eight stages. There's ten stages for fighting. But none of them is story, apparently. So I'm just like, well. I guess we gotta wait for next week. New. Not gonna do <laughs> simple story without feelings. Exactly. You know what? Actually, the more simpler it is, it actually gives a... You know, it, it brings more impact sometimes. If they focus on the feelings part, it actually, like... Simple is sweet. Simple and sweet, you know? Yeah. Well, can't wait to see what they what they have in store for us next week. And with that, I'll end my stream here. Ayumasumi, everybody! Thank you for dropping by! See you guys next week! Yeah! For this week, I'm a bit busy. I'm actually very, very tired, to be honest. So you may not see me this weekend. So, yeah. I'll see you guys another time. Alright? Bye-bye! Ayuma Sumi. Good night. Good night. Good night.